In this video, we will create a Docker container for a Laravel project, and then we will push the Docker container to AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. So let's get started. First, I'll create here a Docker file. And of course, make sure to have uh, installed Docker in your machine. And uh, here in the Docker file, we'll start from PHP. Uh, the version will be 7.4 FPM. So this is uh, the container that we will have the PHP already installed there. Uh, still, we need to install some other packages. I will paste them here. So uh, these are some libraries that we need to install. And uh, this is uh, the installation of Composer because Composer is not already installed here. And uh, this uh, is a command that will enable uh, this uh, two uh, extensions in our php.ini file. So that's it. After we add everything that uh, we need, let's specify the working directory. I'll call it app. We need to copy composer.json to the working directory. So this means uh, that uh, this dot means that uh, this composer.json will be copied here. And uh, after we got composer.json, we need to run composer install and uh, we'll add no scripts here. So we will simply install uh, everything uh, that composer needs and uh, we won't run these uh, post scripts like these ones. So we will simply install everything. And uh, after that, we'll copy all the files here into the working directory. So now we have everything and uh, we will simply run the command php artisan serve. We need to specify also the host. Uh, which uh, will be uh, 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and also the port to 80. So we don't need to put uh, 80 port here, uh, but uh, I need it because uh, I combine multiple videos and uh, they all have uh, port 80. So we finished with the docker file. Now we are, we are ready to build it. So to build this docker file, run docker build. We need to specify the name for this docker build and uh, we can specify a name by adding minus T. The name, I'll put it up, but you can name it whatever you want. In the end, dot means uh, this context here and it will search for this docker file. So it will run that docker file and now is building. Let's wait till it's completed. So it is built. Now this container is ready to be deployed on the cloud. But before, let's test it on our browser to see if it works. So to run it on our browser, run Docker, run. Uh, we need to specify a port. So uh, the port inside the Docker con container is 80. And in our browser, you can put whatever port you want. I'll put 8888. So uh, in the end, we need the name of our container. So we specified it to be up. So uh, this is our Docker run and is running. So if we go to the browser now and go to localhost port 8888, we'll see the Laravel app running. So uh, the container is running fine. Now let's push this container to the cloud. Also, I'll close this uh, IDE because we won't use it anymore. So I'm logged into my Azure portal here. And uh, before I create anything, make sure to have uh, installed the Azure CLI. So download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions. You will have uh, access to this AZ command, which uh, it will show these options. So before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we'll create a container registry so we don't have any 
container registry yet, so let's create a container registry. So uh, I will create a container registry here, the resource group, I, I have a demo, demo resource group here, which I added just the name. The registry name, I will call it app, so it needs uh, to have uh, five characters, so I will call it my app. Uh, already in use. So my container. Okay, it's container app. So which name is not used? So my container app. I will use this uh, name and uh, for the location, you can pick your location for this. SKU, I will select the ba basic version. Let's create it. And uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry. And now that we created our registry, uh, we need also to log in. So uh, first we have to log in uh, via Azure like this, easy login. So we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to Microsoft Azure. So as we can see, uh, it uh, shows this data. So after we log in there, we have to run this other command. So uh, Azure, uh, Azure Container Registry login and here we need the name which was, which was app so let's copy it also. So go to the resource and let's copy the URL, which is uh, this one. So uh, we don't need the suffix. So let's log in. So this will allow us to push the Docker container to Azure. So we successfully logged in. And uh, now that we logged in, we can uh, push our image. To push our image, first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag, the name of our container is up. And uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied. And uh, we need to add in the end slash up. So this is uh, our uh, repository here. So I added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it. So let's push it. And now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry. So let's wait till it's completed. So it is completed. Now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories. This is our app repository and uh, here we have our image. So this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name. So I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now. So let's create a container instance. I'll select the same resource group. Uh, we need the container name. The container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure Container Registry. And we have our uh, container app. So uh, we need to enable uh, admin here. So let's click learn more. And we have to run this command. So uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here. So we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly. Not sure if we need the uh, my container up. So I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. 
I'll select up here registry and now it is selected so uh, everything is correct I'll change the size here I will keep everything minimal so 0.5 is a uh, minimal uh, memory so I'll select this review and create uh, also I think uh, I forgot something so uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80 so by default is automatically mapped so we don't have anything to change but if your container port is different we need to select here the uh, the other port so 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else let's create it so deployment is in progress the deployment is complete so let's go to the resource and uh, we have a public IP address here so we can copy this IP address and if we go to that IP address we can see our app deployed so this is how we deploy a docker container to Azure contain container instance Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.